hi school kids this side from gadget generations and i am sitting into my father's room today because my studio upstairs is turning into a oven because of the heat wave around delhi right now <laughs> so today's video is going to be about a flagship product and a flagship deck a portable deck uh, deck and amp or you can say transportable deck and amp i'm talking about the ibeso's latest flagship stack the D16 Type N and the PB5 Osprey. Well, both these devices are quite an outstanding performers on their own as well. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank Mr. Sandeep Agarwal from Audio Geeks India because he lent me both these products. I actually hand carried these for him from Singapore during my last trip to last month. So basically, he allowed me to keep the units for a month and to judge the products and share my initial impressions and make a YouTube video for you guys. So all things aside, we will begin with the design and build quality part. So both the devices are quite amazingly built. Uh, these two come with these leather cases into the box. I will be talking about the D16 Type N first, the true one bit deck, uh, outstanding deck basically quite amazingly built on the top we have a small display screen that uh, showcases different settings like uh, playback uh, bitrate and connection and volume and all that stuff on to the back we have a power on off switch we have coaxial optical port we have DAC input and uh, usb input basically and a charging input a separate charging input so you guys can charge them with the different uh, uh, at the same time while using on the front we have two knobs one is the amp output basically for headphone control output and the other one is the DAC volume control output uh, both these point both these ports can be used as buttons uh, this one small one can be used as button and you can navigate the menu through oh, the other one so you know uh, all that stuff we also have a 4.4 mm balanced and a 3.5 mm single ended output onto the device as for line out uh, i have been using the 4.4 line out port onto the pb5 osprey now this tube based portable amplifier houses four uh, annu tubes that glow brightly into you know uh, when you turn the device on the tubes are visible from the top side where that we have display on the d16 here we have the tubes uh, the device is quite identical in build structure but on the back instead of two usb ports we have just one because it just takes charging and not uh, the usb input tag input so that is not required here we have two knobs instead of one that one has just power knob this one has power on off knob and also have the gain low and high gain modes so you know up on the front we have a single amp control output amp, amp control knob and then we have three output ports one is the 4.4 mm input three ports basically three output no that's my mistake so one 4.4 mm input and one 4.4 mm and a 3.5 mm headphone outputs the device is quite powerful but i will like to begin with the d16 type n to talk about the sound quality part with you guys so basically i have spent a month using both the devices as a stack and the d16 type n on its own as well and i must say that both these devices are quite capable in terms of performance first of all uh, the d16 type n has a very neutral and smooth sound signature basically the tonality is quite neutral you don't see it coloring a lot it just adds a bit of you know slight bit of warmth into the output but everything else is just silky smooth like you must you might expect from a true one bit deck the overall output is very uh, I'm, i mean it is like a buttery smooth right throughout the frequency band moreover excellent extensions I, am, I must repeat, excellent extensions on both the sides, excellent sub bass reach and excellent treble extensions. So in case if you are, uh, you know, want to judge a product, this is probably one of the best sources that you can have in today's market because, you know, it just maintains a neutral signature and then it provides you with excellent extensions. So it lets your connected earphones open up clearly and presents you with the best sound signature that they're capable of producing. Uh, next up, we have massive sound stage presentation on the D16 Type N. To be honest, at the moment when I just collected these in Singapore, I auditioned the, both the products on the same night. So I was like, uh, at that time I was owning the DX260 from iBeso. And after listening to this one, the sound stage and everything, the depth of the depth of the stage and the 
extensions on both the sides it made my dx260 felt like a toy to me and the next day i decided that man i need to sell it and i need to grab something really good uh, up to this level so that's how i got the dx320 so in terms of resolution in terms of clarity this one is a top notch product so expect the top level performance from the d16 type n uh, and uh, instead of portable i must say that both these devices are kind of transportable so you can use these you can carry these into your backpack and you can use them at anywhere you want but uh, you know you just can't put these into your pocket because the size is, is a bit on the bigger side next up the pb5 osprey to be honest i have tested this device with multiple sources not only the d16 type n but in my opinion d16 type n or silky smooth sources are a best combination for the pb5 osprey it benefits with the outstanding resolution and the big sound stage that the d16 type n produces and as a bonus with the new tubes it adds a bit more of warmth and add a bit more of punch in the mid bass region while you get excellent sub bass extension through the d16 type n with the added mid bass punch just a slight bit of added punch you are in for a perfect sound in my opinion and that is the kind of sound signature that i personally prefer neutral sound signature with a hint of sub a uh, hint of boost in the lower end and that is this particular stack is capable of providing next up about the drivability both the devices are quite powerful on its own d16 type and i never felt any lack of uh, power with any of the sources that i have tested it with uh, any of the uh, transducers or headphones that i have tested with yes i have not uh, tested with a lot of stuff but all the stuff that i have tested with, like the let shore cadence of oh, like the legion or the pilgrim like the less rentless like the flip ears aurora like the flip ears artha night jar singularity these are the ims that i have tested these with and uh, talking about the and modu 5 type 5 and 2 as well that is my personal unit uh, or most of these are my personal units basically so next up the headphones i have tested the sennheiser hd650 and also the sennheiser hd490 pro and both these devices are quite easy to drive them and have enough headroom left on both of them so you know uh, for my testing i never felt that these lack any of the uh, power but or and also in fact i never had to even for any of the ims i never had to go on the high gain mode onto this one but for headphones i just shifted to high gain mode to test what they are capable of delivering so that's uh, about the amazing quality and the pros for the d6 and pb5 spray from my side now on to some of the things that i personally did not like about them <laughs> so first of all the d16 type n is very neutral in its sound signature so if you want something like an extra warmth or uh, you know something like a brightest sound signature then that one might not be up your ally next that is uh, the first part is not a big of a concern but the second one is highly a big, bit of concern basically these devices don't charge with any of the sources uh, any of the chargers basically i have a bunch of chargers here at my home like apple macbook charger apple uh, ipad charger my cell phones char cell phone chargers like iq 120 watts xiaomi 120 watts and uh, some samsung chargers as well and some vivo chargers as well so i have a bunch of seven eight different chargers at my home but these two devices are very picky about what chargers they personally like so talking about the d16 type and among all the chargers that i have only one or two chargers work with this particular device one is my apple macbook 65 watt pd charger and the next one is a xiaomi 120 watts that also supports pd charging so i'm guessing that you need a pd charging supported adapter and uh, wire for this one about the pb5 osprey it doesn't even take my macbook chargers man even okay, my entire collection just single device works with this and that is the my xiaomi 120 watt charger nothing else is able to charge this device so you know that has been a bit of a hassle for me for about like i can't just charge these with any of the chargers that i want and this is the particular cone that i personally feel should be mentioned and third uh, yeah it takes a bit of a toll onto your pocket because three thousand dollars is a lot of money but believe me you are getting crazy good sound performance it is a source that you can just purchase and be done with it such level of source <laughs> well that's about today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching my impressions for the d16 type n and the pb5 spray 
if you guys have any questions you can feel you you guys can ask me in the comment section below and don't forget to leave me a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and uh, thank you so much for staying till the very end thank you so much